Christina Marlowe, welcome. Good to see you. Thanks and for you're looking me. lovely as usual. Thanks. It's great Jeff. to see you again. You too. Um, we're going to get into the Patty and Christina part of the, the talk. Where are you from and what was your experience growing up with the sharks? I'm from San Jose, born and raised. Um, I worked there when I was in college doing like uh, the accounting and the season ticket department and some ticket sales as well. So that's how I ended up at the arena at the time. San Jose Arena is what it was then called. How did you, what do you remember about your first meeting? Well, Brian Marchman introduced us, but before that, I had seen him around the rink, like on game days, but he was always there early. So I assumed he was, <laughs> you're laughing already. I assumed he was one of the, like the blue coats that they call him, because he was young. And I thought he was cute. And I had told my boss at the time. Was. Like, there's, yeah, was. <laughs> it was. <laughs> I told my boss at the time that there was a blue coat that I thought was cute and I wanted to, like I not stalk you, but I was like, you know, try to put myself in a position where I could see him again. And then um, at the same time, Brian Marchment would come in to the offices and he's like, oh, you should meet Patrick Marlowe. He's, you know, young kid. You should, I think you guys would be good together. I'm like, nope, not interested in a player. He's like, no, you got to you got to meet him. He's a good guy. He's from, you know, small town, farm boy. I'm like, nope, sorry, Brian, not interested. And then when we were at, uh, it's called the Backbeat. Backbeat. Yep. Um, he came up to me, he's like, I want you to meet Patrick. And then he walked up and it was the blue coat. <laughs> <laughs> so I relented and went on a date. <laughs> okay, so what was, where was the first date? What was? Uh, me being the great planner that I am, I'm like, oh, we'll just go to a movie. I'll pick her up, we'll go to a movie. Um, we, I picked her up, went to the movie theater, didn't know it was playing. So the only thing playing at that time was the Prince of Egypt, a, a, a Disney cartoon. <laughs> So I was like, all right, well, that's what's playing. I have nothing else <laughs> planned. Let's go there. Um, well, we watched the movie, and then after the movie, uh, we went to Johnny Rockets, got some... Milkshakes? Milkshakes. Mm -hmm. Fries? Did we yeah. get fries? Fries. And then we walked around Christmas in the park. Oh, yeah, right. So that, and then that became a uh, tradition for us to go. We tried to go every year to Christmas in the park. We've, I think we've missed only one or two years, maybe. Yeah, we missed a couple years. A couple but... years, but... Mm-hmm. What was the movie like? I liked the movie. I liked that. It was like a kid's cartoon. I liked it. Yeah. I mean, we were only 19. We couldn't go to... Right. Yeah. Like, we couldn't go to a bar. We could like, not much we could do, so I liked it. We got a... I have a movie poster of the Prince of Egypt mm -hmm. in, our, in, our in, in our theater, mm -hmm. so... Yeah. And everyone always asks, why? Why that why, movie? Because yeah. it's not a popular movie. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> was it love at first sight? You had a... <laughs> No. <laughs> no, I think so. I think, like, I liked him a lot right yeah. away. But I was very cautious because, you know, he was a professional athlete. And yeah. there's a lot of stigma that comes with that. And I know my dad was hesitant about it. He's like, well, there's player, there are players on and off the ice was his. He was, well, that's, you know, that's his baby girl with this. Oh, yeah. Hey, right? Yeah. So, but then once he met him. Now he likes Patrick better than me. <laughs> <laughs> How soon did you realize that you had something? There was something, there was a connection. There was a special connection there. I think it was, for me, it was pretty quick. I get, like, I try to keep my guard up, but, you know, you can only fight that for so long if it's someone that you really find a connection with. Um, I try to play it off really well, though. Did you? <laughs> yeah, I think so, yeah. <laughs> Uh, like not answering when he calls just to oh, pretend really? like I'm busy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which, <laughs> <laughs> was it okay? Who was, who was more pursuer? Really? Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. I yeah. Get, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I get it. I get that. Yeah. Okay. You guys become a couple and it's hard for a, a young lady to go in, was it hard for a young lady like you to go in to be integrated into the shark's wives? Oh, mm -hmm. terrifying, right? I mean, not that any, no one was mean, no one was like unwelcoming, but you know, you walk into this room with these like, you know, legendary families and these women who've been in the league for so long, it was like, I didn't go into that room for so long. I would wait outside. Really? Yeah, like some of the young girls, we would wait outside, like we're not going in there. And it, 
like they know, no one ever did anything. Everyone was always super kind, but it's just yeah. it's intimidating. Intimidating, right? Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah, you 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 were just playing, right? Just yeah. Did you understand? But did you understand that there would have been? Yeah. No, I, we talked. I think we talked about about that, and um, and then obviously, I think once we're starting dating more, and then we have team parties and things like yeah. that. Then you know, you in the different atmosphere, you get to know each other and get to know the other wives and, and things like that and they become friends and you know the more and more you're you're together and, and around them the more and more the yeah, you the get team, to get together the team parties for sure how i mean like right there's alcohol there's people relax and they, you get to know each other a little better and then then you see them at the rink and it's not so scary <laughs> when did you start to realize that this patrick marlowe guy he's he's something like he's pretty damn good at this game I think, well, I, everyone always told me he was, right? Like, I didn't grow up watching hockey. I didn't understand the sport, and everyone just kept saying, he's so good, he's so good. And then once I understood the sport, understood how it was played, and I'd watch him, like, oh, yeah, he does do a lot of that stuff really well. Yeah. So probably, probably took about a year or so before I understood that you actually were, so you were okay game. at that okay. game. <laughs> yeah. You should stick with it? Yeah. Right about the boys. When, the, when were the boys old enough to realize, when do they realize that, hey, dad's, dad's pretty cool here. He's got this thing. Have they gotten there? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't get that it's, sense. Yeah, you know, it's, really, no. Just. No, really, I mean, right? it's dad. It's. Yeah. Yeah. I know for the, for the younger ones, I think maybe, maybe like when I broke the record, like Caleb yeah. or. Jagger or... I should, yeah. I mean, I think when they're younger, I, they're, you know, like, dad's out on the ice or, you know, let's go to dad's game. They're excited about it. But as they get older, like the older boys, they're like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> how was How was home life when, like, you and I talked years ago. And I said, how you doing, Christina? And he went, it's Groundhog Day, Drew. It's Groundhog Day. You got the little guys. And they were, if I remember correctly. Wild. <laughs> I was going to say rambunctious. <laughs> Patrick's out making the playoffs, team's doing great, everything's going well. Um, how was life for you then? How was, how was home life then? It's, it, like looking back, it's hard to remember because I think you're in such a survival mode, like especially during the season and you've got, you know, four little boys running around. It's, and it's sad looking back because I wanna, I wish I would have appreciated it more. But at the time when you're so busy and you're so run down and it is Groundhog Day, you're doing the same thing every day, it's hard to appreciate that. But I think that goes for all parents, regardless of what, you know, they do for a living. It's... Yeah. Family life is obviously hugely important to you. How big of a family decision was it to leave San Jose, hard for you, your hometown, to go to Toronto? Uh, extremely hard. I, um especially since she pretty much left it up to me and gave me the the green light to make a decision mm -hmm. um which i didn't like i wanted some more input <laughs> 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 but uh to have that support uh looking back now was i mean not many people would would say oh you got this you know they'd want to put it put in their two cents and and say what what they're feeling and what they're thinking. And not to, not to say that you didn't, but ultimately she said, it's ultimately like, I'll tell you what, what I think. And, but it's, you're going to, I'm not making the decision for you. You got to make the decision yourself. So, um, that was, uh, I think, I don't know how much weight I lost. Uh, it was a very stressful time for me. Um, or how many miles you put on your, oh, yeah. on the rug. I, you I, just I, walked in circles for days. Yeah. A little bit of a, <laughs> little bit of a pacer, uh, when it comes to making big decisions and, um, yeah, it was, uh, that one was, was, was on me and it was, uh, you know, um, looking back, glad, glad that I had that experience going to Toronto and, and getting to meet all those guys. And, um, you know, now, now I'm, you know, kind of part of their story right. yeah. now. So I have somebody I can watch in the NHL and, and cheer for and, and, uh, and appreciate. And, um, but yeah, it was, that was a, that was a big, big decision. Well, for a California girl going from San Jose, California to Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Weather's a little different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I liked it, though. I thought it was a, like, 
it's so different than San Jose. You yeah. know, every it's just night and day. And for me, it was like it's his career, it's his story. Um, so there was no way I was going to tell him what to do for that. Like you know, it was if he wants to try something new and have that experience, then let's go. I mean. It's a cool experience, like to look back and say, oh yeah, we lived in Toronto for a couple of years. Like that's a pretty cool thing. Not many people get to do that, so. And I, it, it actually helped me become, a, I think, a better leader or a better uh, yeah. mentor, because then now I got that taste of what other players have gone through, moving somewhere, um, you know, being, uh, either, even being traded too. Like it's, uh, it, there's a lot that goes into it, especially if you have a wife and, and family and, and kids and, um, so now you get a, I got a whole new appreciation for, for guys who've been traded or I've done it multiple times even. I mean, it's, it's, it's tough. It takes a, it takes a lot of mental power. It takes a lot of support from the family. What about coming back to San Jose? What was that like? Good. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. I mean, I met, there was things about Toronto that I missed, but to be back home in so many ways, right? Home for him at the tank, home for me with family and friends and like, Obviously, going back to that comfort zone is, there's nothing you can compare to that, so. Yeah. For you? Yeah, it was just, you know, that comfort zone. That, yeah. uh, oh, oh, I know I know how this works here, you know? Like, you don't, you don't have, there's not, there's not that learning curve again. You don't need ways to get to the yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Like, hockey, obviously, is giving you a certain way of life, right? And it's been great. It's been the focal point of your life now since you guys were, well, you since you were yeah. this big and then 19 years old. It's now still the focal point of your life with <laughs> the boys, right? Mm -hmm. You look back, it's been beneficial for you as a person. Like, sure, the, the trappings of playing professional hockey are good, but still, as, as people, has it been beneficial to you? I'm sure it has. I mean, I don't, I don't see how it couldn't, right? right? Like you, the people that you meet from all different parts of the world, you get to meet people from different cultures and different, you know, like it, that's really cool. You know, I think right. that's the part that is the best is everyone that you get to meet. Like how otherwise would I meet someone from, you Germany, know, you look at Joe Marco. Thornton's wife, Tabea from Switzerland. Right. Like I would have never met her if it wasn't for hockey. And so I think that's, by far and away, the best part of the game. Yeah, Nabby. Nabby. Nabby's always Mark, yeah. Marco. Marco. Marco, we went to yeah. a Marco. wedding in Germany, so. Oh, that's right, yeah. you did, I remember, that's right, you did, yeah, <laughs> yeah. As we know, is it more time now for you guys with hockey than, than when just Patty was playing? Oh, I saw him more when he was playing than I see him now, <laughs> for sure. I mean, you must be always going with the boys, Yeah. right? Are, I have heard rumors you're one of the busiest families there is out there. He's at the rink seven days a week. Is that right? Yeah, I'm, a, I'm there more now than when I was playing. <laughs> yeah. Do you like it? Do you love it though? I mean, like, like what's watching the boys play versus just going out and playing? Yeah, I. What kind of dad? What kind of hockey dad are you? <sighs> you're I'll quiet. Hope. Like you're you're not yeah. yelling and. Yeah, I don't I try not to yell or anything. I just try to. I don't want them to get in the car after a game and like, okay, let's hear it. I don't right. want that to happen. Yeah. So I, I'm all about like, I had a good game. Enjoy. I love watching you play. Um, sometimes I'll say, I have a. There's a couple things I noticed. If you want to hear them, let me know. Okay. Hockey mom. Enjoy watching you. Well, I love watching him play. It's. The feeling is very different, though. With Patrick, it was like, well, he's, you know, he's a big boy. He can take care of himself out there. I wasn't worried if he got hit. I mean, not to say I was never worried, but, you know, like, there's a certain level of trust. And with the kids, it's that mama bear, like, someone hits your kid, and you're like, I'm going to go beat up a 12-year-old now. <laughs> so that part's hard, and I just have to sit there like, okay. You know, like, when they pop up, you're like, okay, he's all right. But it's, there's a lot more like just knots in your stomach yeah. watching the boys than when I watched him. Yeah. yeah. Now you that, too. I, t I have this, I have, you know, similar feelings too. And then I was like, okay, well, my parents probably had the same feeling for all these years. I'm like. Your mom and I <laughs> talked about that, yeah. It never stops. Yeah. It never, ever stops. Um, 
you two have been together for a long time. We, we were always, you know, from afar, always it's Christina and Patty and back and forth. How important was she to your career? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Um. I feel like I, I feel like a heel every time we, we have conversations. We talk. <laughs> yeah. we, we, we cry. You're yeah. like Oprah. You make me yeah. cry. <laughs> um, it'd be fair to say that I wouldn't have been able to do my job to the, the extent I did without Christina as my wife. Were you were you a better hockey player because of her? One hundred percent. So how does that make you feel? I think he gives me too much credit. <laughs> Not enough. <laughs> Thanks. Did you know, did you, was, was there, you're certainly your, your own individual. You've always been a strong personality. But was there a time where you said, listen, I got to be his rock. I've got to, I've got to be that, that person for him. Yeah. Like, yeah. Was it conscious or is it just, just, the, that's just the love you had for the man? Uh... Both. I mean, you know, when you love someone, you want to support them and make sure that they're at their best. Um, I think there was a couple times in his career where he had a lot of self-doubt. And that's when you just, you know, you're not feeding him BS, but you're just reminding him who, you know, who he is and what he has to offer. And, okay, so you're in a scoring slump or whatever it was. Like, that doesn't mean that you're not an incredible player. That doesn't mean you, you don't have what it takes. Or I think the hardest time that you've gone through is when he did, you know, finally hang them up. And yeah. Yeah. that was that was hard for him. Was it hard for you well, in Toronto, in San Jose, as, as a professional hockey player, he's going to get criticism. I mean, he gets criticism, you know, you get criticism from from the fans. You get criticism from idiot broadcasters. You get criticism, you know, was that was that hard for you to, to listen to or digest? Because no. there are some wives. That would let you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I think for the most part, criticism is, you know, that's someone's opinion and you can't get mad at someone for their opinion. Um, and usually if there was criticism, there was some sort of truth to it. You know, I think when people would say that he didn't care, that's when that's what would bug me. Because obviously you can see the guy, he wears his heart on his sleeve, so he does care. He might not show it on the ice like some guys do but he did care, so that would bug me. But if people were saying something else about his plate, like whatever, someone, you know, you're gonna forget about it the next day and see, they're gonna be on to someone else, so no. <laughs> we know about his big moments off the ice. We know about him on, what well, we think we know about him on the ice anyway. We've seen Patty grow up in front of our eyes. What don't we know about Patrick Marlowe? Oh, like, I think people think he's so quiet. Like, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> he's not. <laughs> Like, every day I'm like, stop talking. <laughs> really? Yeah. At home. Yes, he talks a lot. I think he saves all his words Literally, for me. Yeah, Thank probably. you so much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me, me and the kids. Yeah, he's very goofy. He's super funny. Like, those are things that people don't see because when he's playing or when he was playing, there, you know, he was in game mode and it, he became very serious about it. But off the ice, he's not. He's super funny, super goofy. What kind of dad is he? Well, you're an incredible dad. I think it's taken him a lot of time to be able to like discipline because for so long when he wasn't home, when he got like in between road trips in the summer, he wanted to not discipline. He wanted to play with them. He wanted to be fun dad. He wanted to enjoy his time with them. So then that would make he and I go at it because you, you can't make me the bad cop. Like I'm doing, like I'm trying to keep him on a schedule, keep it regimented. I've got all these kids <laughs> and you're gone half the time. So, you know, I'd have him right. and then he'd come home and <laughs> <laughs> so it's taken him time to learn to discipline. That's fair to say, I think. Was it Disney dad? <laughs> yeah. Disney dad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I so know that, that feeling. Yeah, yeah. I know that feeling. <laughs> I would. Well, got, uh, so like now that, now that I'm retired, I got a whole newfound respect for. Yeah what she had to do for all these years by like by herself yeah. for the most part and um groundhog day she's got it nailed down <laughs> yeah it's uh so it's it's taken me a little while to and i've 
I think I've come to her multiple times. Like I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I get I, I now that I'm on this side, I get what you're talking about. Yeah. Like I could see how it was frustrating that you know have them on a schedule and things move move so much smoother when they're on the ske- like sleep schedule, school schedule, you know, all that stuff. Yeah. And then I come home like, oh, they can stay up another half hour. They can stay <laughs> up another, oh, you're, you're being too hard. Like you're being too hard. And meanwhile, she's been with them, dealing with it for that full week. I've been gone and I just get home and want to have, have fun Party with time. Them. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, absolutely. Mm-hmm. All, new, all new respect. <laughs> fun police are here. Right? Like, come on, come on yeah. it's, 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 don't tell mom. Don't tell, how many how many don't tell mom moments have you? Oh, had? there's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get into those. Yeah. <laughs> um, the the way you grew up. I mean, you and I talked about this. You were you, you've been you've been to Anaroy. You've been yeah. back home. You've been um, small town. Go to the big city in San Jose. Get married. But how had the, the small community shaped you as a father? And, and has that small town life, I know you left it a long time ago, but still it always stays with you. Yeah. I mean, has, it, has, that, has that, did that help change you, your perspective on, on parenting and family? And I think, um, you know, go, I, I, I enjoy telling them about how I grew up. Right. Uh, trying to teach them, you know, the things that, that I went through and trying to translate it to what, what they're doing at the time. Um, and then I like taking them back there to show them like, Hey, this is where, this is where I started. You know, this is where it all began, began for me. And these are all the things and put them to, put them to work a little bit on the farm, but, uh, need to get back up to the farm. So, so my brother can put them to work. (laughs) I'm all for that. (laughs) So we talked to Patty about what he's going to be thinking when that banner goes up. What are you going to be thinking? What's going to be going on through your head and your heart when you see? Uh, I'm just going to be watching him to see how many tears come, I think. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think it's such an, I, I don't think there are words for it, like that kind of honor to see his number and his name up there, like no one else in the franchise will ever get to wear that. Like that's pretty incredible. And I don't, I mean, I'm super proud of you. You deserve it. That's it. That's all the love you're getting yeah. from me. Yeah. 